In a moment, we will learn about isotopes and some of their amazing applications in different fields. What are isotopes? Carbon, an essential element of life, is largely known to have six protons, six electrons, and six neutrons. The more accurate name, however, is carbon-12. According to its mass number, the sum of the protons and neutrons. So, it turns out, an atom of carbon can also have seven neutrons, one more than the usual, named carbon-13. Both of them are called isotopes, specifically the isotopes of carbon. An isotope is a group of atoms from an element with the same number of electrons and protons, but a different number of neutrons. Isotopes have similar chemical properties because chemical reactions only involve electrons and not neutrons. An example of this is that of chlorine-35 and chlorine-37. Both are isotopes of chlorine. Although their mass number is different, they both react similarly with sodium to form sodium chloride. On the other hand, the physical properties are affected by mass. And because isotopes have different masses, so their physical properties are also different. An example of this is that hydrogen-2, or deuterium, has a slightly higher boiling point and density than hydrogen-1. Uses of isotopes Some isotopes are naturally unstable, and they emit high-energy radiation to reach the stable form. They are called radioisotopes. Even though these are dangerous to us, as they can penetrate our cells, they can be very beneficial when handled carefully. In some of the applications, the radioisotopes are detected directly, while in others, the radioisotopes make the target substances emit detectable radiation. Radioisotopes have different uses in many different fields of study, for example, in medicine, defense, archaeology, and geology. In the field of medicine, technetium-99 is used to detect tumors, while iodine-131 is used in the treatment of thyroid disorders. In safety, americium-241 is used in smoke detectors, while in defense, californium-252 is used in the detection of explosives. In the field of archaeology, carbon-14 is used to estimate the age of organic compounds, like human remains buried from the previous time, and fossils of animals. This process is commonly called carbon dating. In geology, uranium-238 is used in estimating the age of rocks. 